Hey everybody, it's Moonbow here, and welcome back to some more Endless Scrap Mechanic. Today, it's time for Top of the Shop, but before we get into looking at some really amazing creations, I just wanted to say thank you so very much for 200,000 subscribers. You know, I never thought that playing Scrap Mechanic and uploading videos to YouTube would ever turn into something like this, but it's all thanks to everybody watching. I can't thank you all enough for all of the support that you guys have given me on the channel here and in my Scrap Mechanic creations. Uh, it's been such an amazing creative outlet, uh, and I'm really excited to get back into the channel. But without any further ado, let's take a look at some amazing creations in Top of the Shop. All right, first up on the lift, we've got the 2021 C8 Corvette Convertible by Chromax. Now, I've seen this before. I believe this was tweeted to me over on Twitter, and I was absolutely blown away by such an amazing build. Now, this is all vanilla. It is using glitch welding, of course, but you know what? That's all fair. You can spawn it into your world. No problems, no hassles, and I don't even know what to look at. There's just so many little bumps and little nooks and crannies. And the profile view here is amazing as well because like getting that low, sleek kind of design in a car can be rather difficult. Now, I'm not sure maybe our mechanic's head might pop out of the roof. No, wow, look at that. We fit in there just perfectly. Now, we've got a lot of buttons and switches in this car, but uh, I mean, I guess let's just make sure it drives. You know, it does what cars should do. Okay, yeah. It drives really well. It's not laggy at all, and this is apparently a convertible, so I'm surprised that we're not dropping any frames here. Let's see what we got, though. We got some lights. Oh, there it is. I just pressed the two button. Oh, look at that. Tucked away. Oh, wow, you got a nice view of the engines back there as well. Okay, this is quite the sequence. All right, so it's tucked away, stowed away. Now we've got the convertible. The open top. Oh, man. Wind in the hair and the beard. This is a really nice car. Now, I guess uh, one final thing we got to do here is we've got to bring the top back up. I think it's going to rain, guys. I see some clouds in the distance here. Let's get the tap top going. Oh, wow, the music's still playing. I'll turn that off. Okay, here it goes. So there goes the top. It's up. That's all. Look at all those pistons. Those are all just pistons for design, but I guess they're probably also used for Oh, whoa, okay, I didn't press anything and it's going back up. Yeah, this is an absolutely amazing car, guys. I highly suggest you check it out on the Steam Workshop. Now, is it much of a boat? Okay, no, it's not, but I know what is really boat-like. Nothing says boat to me more than a boat. So we've got a boat here. We've got the Sundance Catamaran 54 by Valeronics. Now, as you can see here, we got the big sail in the middle. The two style pontoons on either side, we've got ourselves a catamaran. So, oh wow, there's thrusters? I, I think this thing should be capable of going in the water, right? Wow, okay, this thing is a little bit bigger than I was expecting. Now, I don't really have a dock or a truck to back this into the water. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this rock here. All right, we're going to spawn in the catamaran. I guess it should hopefully just uh, go up to the surface. Oh, man, look at that. That's so cool. Okay, there it goes. The seat's going out of the water now. So we're going to go into the driver's seat. Now, hold on. Am I missing anything? Okay, no. Looks like everything is good to go. So if I press W, okay, nothing happens there. Oh, wow, we have little rudders in the back. I don't think... Okay, yeah, okay, it's all thruster-based here. We're not, uh, we're not actually controlling any water physics. So I'm just going to press 1. Ooh... This is a smooth ride. It's nothing insane. It's nothing too fast. And still, W doesn't do anything. Okay. But we've got two more things here. we got a button and a switch. So let's press the button first. Okay. I I don't know if... Wait. Oh, it's... Oh, it's slowing me down? I guess this must be a reverse thruster somewhere, is it? But now let's try out some turning here. We're coming to the corner of the world. That's right, guys. The world is flat. There's a corner here. It's a square, flat world. So we're going to try and take this turn now. I don't think... Okay, yeah, it's relatively deep everywhere we go here, so we shouldn't worry about running the bottom there. But let's see what does three do. Oh my... Okay, there's wheels. What? I didn't even notice those. Why are there wheels? I I'm guessing if you want to uh, get out of the water and go wherever you want to go on the land, 
I guess I lied, guys. I said this was a boat, but apparently it is a boat car. It's, it's a better boat car than the first car. I mean, that was way more car than boat, but this boat is way more boat than that boat. Okay, either way, this is a really smooth boat. I guess I have to give it the, uh, the old car trial here. So we're going to bring the wheels down, and we're going to come up to the shore here, and we're going to try and just ride this thing, I guess. Okay, here we go. There's the sand. Wheels are touching. We're going up. Come on. More power. Ah, there we go. Wow. Okay, so, oh, that makes sense now. Okay, whoops. Wrong button. Wrong button. Really cool build. I mean, look. Okay, I didn't expect to be out of the water there, but, well, here we are. Uh, so, I guess we're going to check out a new build. All right, we're going to bring it back to the land, and this time we are going to be checking out these x symbols version 2 it's it's version 2 of these symbols here with no mods this is created by dima now this is really cool this is going to be one of those builds where you uh drop it from the lift and once you do that all of the like cosmetic layout and uh controllers go into place and we're going to see it like snap into like probably a way way more streamlined kind of design than what we see now so let's see what happens here we're going to remove the lift Oh yeah, look at that. Wow, that was not exactly what I was expecting it to do, but this looks so cool. Look at the giant engine sticking out of the front. Whoa, did you see that? Look at the turn. The entire car leans into the turn. Oh my, this is so cool. Let's see what we got for switches though. We're gonna press one. Okay, see, so yeah, that's the, I think that's like the, uh, the like a, an override or whatever for the electric motors. And then we've got the lights, and then we've got three. What? Oh wow! Three is giving us access to the um, the actual engine components, so we can change the speeds there. Um, I guess. Well, okay. There's a giant opening here anyway, but I guess uh, that shouldn't matter. But let's try and just take this for a really good spin because I'm curious to see what it's going to be like with the vehicle leaning into the turns. And we got some really nice little off-road tiles here. Oh man, this is cool. It's really rocky. It rocks side to side quite a bit, but it seems to really hold itself to the ground. Oh my god, okay, that was a big boulder, but on phase, we're ready to keep on going. Now here we got some like kind of little mounds. We're gonna try and do like some up and down here. Oh, look at this. Here we go. Drop it in. Wow. This is a smooth vehicle. Okay, hold up. That was way steeper than I thought it was going to be. But let's see if we can use the, um... Is the electric thing a thing here? I think it is. Look at this. We're going so much slower now. But I wonder if that's going to be what we needed. Look at this. Oh, that's so cool. Man, this is an amazing car. The suspension is insane. Like, even with the rocking back and forth. Like, I keep thinking... I'm gonna kind of like lose control because of that rocking back and forth, but in the end, it actually just really sticks it. All right, I see some awesome rocks here for just one quick little trial before we move on to the next build. Whoa, I just noticed the suspension in the back here. Look at that. It's That's why there's no window back there, so that the suspension can stick out. That's insane. All right, but let's just do like some little rock crawling. This is always like fun thing to do in Scrap Mechanic. It's just like that slow pacing and like trying to just get through uh, some really challenging terrain. Oh man, look at th this thing is amazing. It just went over those rocks, no problem. Yeah, if you guys are looking for a new off-road vehicle that you can do rock crawling with and stuff like that, I think this is the one for you. What an amazing build. Next up, we're gonna be taking a look at this gyrocopter Chizhik created by Gamby. Now this thing looks really cool. I believe it is using the wing mod as well for the aerodynamics kind of portion of the build for the flying. So we're gonna see what it's like though to actually pilot this thing. Now I've only spent a very minor amount of time using the wing mod in terms of creating helicopters. I think I really only created one true helicopter utilizing it, but we even have propellers in the back here. So this is a gyrocopter though, so we got wings too. Man, this thing looks so cool. So, um, I don't know what to expect here. W, A, S, and D. So look at this. Oh my goodness. Wow. So we've got two sets of blades here as well, and look at the control on that. 
I'm scared to fly this thing at this point, but I guess, you know what? What do I have to lose here? I think we got some more boats to check out or something, so I guess I should probably make my way to the water somehow. Now, I thought I would be able to maybe drive this on land with the wheels, but nope, I can't do that. So let's just press two. Okay, that's forward. Whoa, I'm not ready. What is three? Oh, three, look, I think... Is three to like flatten this helicopter so when we take off, it's like level? Okay, I'm not going up. Two, okay, maybe I just need to take off. Nope, I do not just need to take off. So maybe I'm overcomplicating this. Maybe I just need to press one and two. And as long as I kind of steer, no, that's yes, no, wait, no. All right, well, I'm just gonna try again though. You know, try and try again. Now here we, I feel like I've got like a little jump or something. Oh, okay, here we go. I made it in the air. Okay, whoa, this is so touchy. So touchy. I'm trying to keep it on the handle here, but this is tough. Okay, maybe it's that attack angle that it was talking about in the manual. I gotta press four. Whoa, I just had some pistons extend. Okay, I think that just fixed it. Oh, okay, there we go. This is feeling much smoother. And now if I want to turn, I have to use the uh, roll control. There's no like yaw on this thing by the looks of it. So everything is roll control. Oh, this is beautiful flying now. So yeah, I guess uh, that's the solution though. You need like a decent amount of room to kind of gain some momentum. Uh, maybe a drop off would help as well. I think we had like a little bit of a ramp up there when we were going, uh, which was quite nice. Uh, and now, you know, once you're in the air, it's uh, it's really good. You just got to press four no matter what. Now, this is awesome. I'm going to go into first person here. Okay, here we go. First person mode. So we have some indicator lights here. Now, these light indicators are detecting, I believe, like the ground clearance. So if we go a little bit farther down to the ground here, let's just bring it in. Oh, this is amazing. This is the smoothest helicopter flight I've ever felt in Scrap Mechanic. But look at that. We've got these blinking lights now. Because it's just giving us, like, uh, some indication. I think the blinking yellow means that we have the blades moved forward. If I... I don't want to press 4 again because this is smooth flight. Uh, but yeah, we're getting some low ground clearance here. Low altitude. So we're going to bring it up. And we should see after a moment here of going up in altitude. There it goes. The altitude sensor is back to normal. And we are good to go. Now, I guess there's one thing I got to do. Can this thing do a barrel roll? We're trying. No. The answer is no. The answer is no. No barrel rolls. Okay, so this is another boat, guys. We're taking a look at another boat. A lot of boats this week. I'm surprised. All right, so the next thing we're going to be taking a look at is not a vehicle. It doesn't uh, fly. It's not a boat. It's not a car. It's a building, and I love seeing buildings on top of the shop. I have made so many different buildings uh, for, like, city builds and stuff like that. Always loads of fun, so I really appreciate seeing something like this. So this is the Close Shave Final created by Prof Incognito and Benny. So this is, like, a module. You can see there's a square here. Uh, which would probably be a part of a larger section of a world. So I'm going to get this welded to the ground, and, and we're going to take a look at it. All right, so here we go. This is the Close Shave. Now, if you haven't guessed it yet, this is a barber shop, you know, where you get some nice men's cuts. Uh, and look at that. We got a nice mustache there. We got some mustache action going on on this building. Gotta love it. Really nice awnings here using those survival parts. Really, really cool. And we also have the barber pole as well. Uh, is there a bearing there? Okay, there is a bearing. Looks like we better go in here and open up shop. Ooh, look at this. Wow. Those ceiling fans. Oh, man. That looks so cool. So around the corner, though, we have our cash register here and a radio as well. So this is the switch. This might be the master switch, is it? Oh, yeah. Look at that. The ceiling fans turn on. And let's take a look at the uh, barber pole. Is it spinning? It is spinning. Ah, oh, man, that is such a cool idea to use the suspension piece for that, like, rotating aspect. I wonder if you could maybe, like, glitch weld multiple suspension pieces together to get, like, a, a ribbon effect with, like, uh, the blue, white, and red style barber pole. That'd be really cool. All right, so how many chairs we got? We got one, two, three, four, five chairs ready to go and we even have like a waiting section 
We even have like some grandstands as well for the waiting. Oh, you know what? Oh, this is- oh, I'm an idiot. This is a uh, shoe polishing station. It's gotta be. This is where you would get your shoes polished. So this is the waiting section. Shoe polishing station. And then we have all of our barber chairs here with the, uh, with the mirrors. Those mirrors look like they might need a little bit of a wipe down, maybe. Oh, I just bumped into this chair. I'm bumping into the chairs and they spin. Let's get that hammer out again. Oh, wow. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. That is really cool. You know what? I feel like we could be like a kid playing with the barber chair. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's loving it. He's loving it. So what else do we have back here? We got another switch. Let's press it. Oh, opens the door to the bathroom. Yeah, that's right. You gotta have a bathroom. Uh, and then, okay, yeah, look at this. We got ourselves a little um, maintenance section here, you know, mop and uh, bucket, a service sink as well. And then we've got our like rear exit. Oh yeah, look at that. We've got a dumpster filled with some junk. Look at that. There's actually a bunch of junk in the dumpster there. And then what's going on back here? Wow. This is interesting. This is just such a like... You don't... This was not necessary. You know, there was no necessity to adding something like this. But having those uh, pieces of rebar sticking out with the blocks breaking down, you know. I mean, I, I really hope that this barber shop becomes successful so they can keep their building maintenance up to code, I suppose. <laughs> So now we're out here on this like sandy desert ring of the creative world and then we have the water in between us with like the forested in the middle and I guess this is a really good spot to probably spawn in our next creation. This is a military police vehicle by Mr. WTF. So let's see what this truck is all about. Oh look at that, drop it down. Nice bouncy suspension. Whoa, these are some strange looking wheels here. Okay, we got some like some moderately advanced suspension there it's not just uh you know the suspension directly mounted uh, we have some glitch welding as well i can see that now now these are switches with uh like bolts on them but i guess we can still access the switch from either side uh, so here we go we're gonna hop in though oh my god there's so many buttons and switches we're just gonna press them and see what happens lights camera action oh wait there's sirens Okay, I guess that's right. This is a military police vehicle. I kind of forgot about that. Uh, so we've got the lights as well. We got look at that. We got the blinking lights with the sirens. All right, so let's take it for a spin. Turn the sirens back on. We're chasing down some sand because that's all we got out here. But let's see how this thing handles. Now this section of the map is is pretty tame, but Scrap Mechanic is pretty notorious for like even the smallest little bumps. They can sometimes really dismantle your driving. Uh, but this thing seems to be handling uh, this portion of the map really well. And you can see the suspension is putting some overtime in. Just look at these bumps coming up. Yeah, some really good reaction coming from that suspension. Whoa, okay, almost hit that rock. Yeah, this is a really cool vehicle. I love being able to see. Look at that, like, little eye visor here with the armored glass to see through as well. And first person, uh, I mean... Considering it's one block wide, um, I think the creator did an amazing job like for the visibility despite that, which uh, is really impressive. So yeah, amazing truck, loads of fun to drive, really handles on the suspension well too. And next up, we've got Jimmy the Mech by Clone L. Now, this is one of those builds where it's just like, I... I really don't know what to expect. I, I can see it, you know, I can, I can see that this is a build in Scrap Mechanic, but... It doesn't make sense. Uh, so let's just see what Jimmy the Mech is all about. Okay, hold on. We got like a cage here. Some arms on pistons. Oh, that's a cool part here. These like holes on that. That's really cool. Okay, so there's got to be a seat, right? Is there a seat? Yes. Okay, we are going to control Jimmy the Mech. The question is, how do we get inside? All right, so I found a switch up on the top here. Could this be it? It is. All right, perfect. That's a... Pretty good guess. So let's hop into the cockpit of this mech. Jimmy the mech, that is. Uh, and we're gonna see what this is all about. We're gonna shut the hatch. Now let's just try W and S and stuff first. Okay, yeah, nothing there. Let's press two. Oh, Jimmy's cruising. Wow, what a weird walking mechanism. Look at this. There's like inside foot pieces and outside foot pieces. So you can see like, it's like stomping along. 
it works really well, but now I can't turn right now. There is not any turning control. Maybe it's four and three. Oh, look at that. Yes, it is. I, I don't know. That might be like suspension glitch or something like that, but it seems to be working. Jimmy is on the run. Let's press five. Okay, five is lifting the, um, the arm up. What is this for? Like, what am I supposed to do with that? And then we can close the cage. Seven opens the cage even more, and nine pushes stuff out of this cage. And then I just launched a box out of my stomach. What was that? Why did I just launch a box out of my stomach? Let's try and do like a super sharp turn. Oh no! Wow, okay, don't! Don't do sharp turns. Jimmy, no happy. Well, I gotta say, Jimmy the mech, it's a good time. Really interesting build. Um, I guess you would probably... You would probably try and scoop something up with this, like, front cage here. I'm trying to, like, get to this box here, but Jimmy is frantic. Jimmy's a frantic mech. Not too sure about what I would be picking up, but... It's an interesting build, looks really cool, uh, really interesting usage of a lot of the new survival parts as well, actually. So, um, uh, I believe this is all vanilla too, so, really fun, um, and, um, really zany? Alright, so we got a couple more creations to take a look at here in Top of the Shop, and this next one is a Naked Style Motorcycle. Um, take that for however you want, uh, but this was created by Adam, and it seems to be an absolutely tiny motorcycle. Look at this, it's utilizing the small wheels, so it's not even like a big wheel creation. Uh, it's got some really cool looking handlebars. Well, see, that's the thing actually, it's using the seat handlebars. And I, I don't know if I've ever seen a motorcycle utilize the actual seat's handlebars for its own handlebars. I'm really excited to see what that's gonna look like when we're steering. Uh, we also got some dual suspension in the back here. Man. It's just so compact, you know, there's like not a single piece of wasted space in this motorcycle. So let's see, we're gonna hop on, no buttons or switches, so we're gonna keep it simple on this motorcycle, we're just gonna drive this bad boy. So let's just see, straight line is good, turning, okay, so the turning is, it's a very rigid style, um, like suspension glitch probably keeping us upright right now, uh, which is really probably necessary for something as small as this. Uh, I find, you know, you can use uh, the suspension glitch a little weaker and kind of actually see the motorcycle leaning, uh, but that can bring up some complications as well. But this is a really smooth motorcycle. Uh, you know, like I said, really stiff on the stability, but it seems to work pretty well. And like I said, I'm, I'm most impressed with the fact that uh, this thing is as tiny as it is. It's, it's the size of the mechanic. It's utilizing these handlebars from the actual seat, and it just looks really nice. Look at that, I just did like a 360, and that was an accident. Alright, I feel like there's a good little straightaway here. I just want to give this like a good speed test. I want to see how fast we can go, but I'm just trying to... Trying to steer it in the right direction here. Okay, there we go. I'm just gonna hold down W. What kind of speed do we got? Okay. Stay in a straight line. Nope. Okay, we're going this way now. You know, if you just hold down W, you can actually just get like a free ride experience. You don't know where the motorcycle is going to take you. You don't know what you're going to do. Look at this. This is steering on its own right now. I am not doing this. This motorcycle is driving for me. Oh, no way. Okay, no, it doesn't want to go that way. Don't go that way. Take the jump. 180. <laughs> okay, this is, this is actually a lot of fun to just hold down W. And let the motorcycle do its thing, and okay, I think it's had enough. And so for the last creation on today's episode of Top of the Shop, we're going to be taking a look at this thing here. This is called the Dornier Du X. Now, you might be thinking to yourself, hey, that's a plane. But other people might be thinking, hey, no, that's a boat. And I'll tell you what, you're both right. It is a boat that can fly. Now, this was created by Cranny, and so yeah, it's, it's a boat flying boat? Boat that can fly? I was gonna say amphibious boat, but I mean, I guess is air and water a type of amphibious vehicle? Wow, okay, frames are dropping. The boat is going up. Oh my god, this is a beast. I hope the frames come back, that's for sure. All right, there we go. The boat, I mean the plane, the plane boat is on the water now, and 
the lag seems to have dropped quite a bit. You know, the frames are back, so we're able to, like, get on this thing. Wow! This is so cool. It's so well made. Now, I need to find a way... Oh, wait. Oh, can I just go through? I can't just go through this hole here? You know what? Maybe I might, uh, I might just cheat a little bit. Okay, we're gonna go in this way. There we go. Don't worry, guys. A hole won't matter because we'll just turn it into a plane. And we won't sink. So let's take a little bit of a tour here just to see what we got though. We're gonna open this back up. We're gonna take a look on this side. Yep, so we got this little tiny side wing here. Whoop. Okay, we're gonna shut that. Loads of seating here. Look at all the seats. And then back here, what's back here? Oh, we got some more seats with some side tables. So I guess this might be like some VIP area. And then we also have some various bathroom stalls. Okay. Uh, I guess there's nothing forward this way, is there? No, I guess not. I kind of want to just take a little peek, though, you know? I just want to see. Okay, yep, yeah, that's what I was expecting. A whole bunch of thrusters. No surprise there. And then we have a ladder that we can climb. So this is going to bring us up here to the, the bridge? The cockpit? Is it a bridge or a cockpit? I don't know. It's a boat plane. Apparently, we press 5. We just get in there. We press 5. And now we need to spin these clockwise. I guess all of them need to spin clockwise. And we're doing this with the hammer. This is like, I guess this is legit old school. So I, I'm, I'm just gonna hit it clockwise. Oh my God, look at this. What the heck is going on? Okay, I'm starting all of the propellers. I guess, am I just going clockwise this way? Look at this. I am starting these up manually. Wait, did I go the wrong way on one of these? I might have. You know what? Hopefully that doesn't matter if I went the wrong way. Uh, but yeah, okay, so we've got the propellers going. Let's um, go back inside, and I guess I'm gonna refer to the manual again. Alright, I think I got it. So two and four is what I need to press. Two and four will give me full throttle, I believe. Let me check it one more time. Wait, so two is full throttle, four is half throttle. So, half throttle apparently is for taxiing in the water, so let's just try that out. Let's just kind of, you know, dip our hull in the water, so to speak. Okay, here we go. Yeah, look at that. So now we're just taxiing. I'm going to try and bring up the uh, field of view here. This is a large creation, so we're going to bring the field of view up a little bit, just to kind of see a little bit more of it. Okay, there we go. Don't run into anything. And that's working really well. So we're running out of space here, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it around, I guess. All right, so here we go. We've done the full turn, though. I am going to press 4 to turn that off. And then we're going to go full throttle. So this is full throttle now. And I'm pressing S. Am I supposed to be? I think we're getting out of the, uh, out of the water. I think we're a plane now. What was once a boat is now a plane. Wow. Okay. I can't see enough to, like, properly fly this thing, it feels like. But here we go. Coming up to the first bend. Now, I think, if I'm not mistaken, um, wasn't the Creative World map slightly larger than it used to be? I, I think they increased the size of it by just a marginal amount, though, probably. Okay, so this is a little tough to fly, you know? You're getting all three axes here, X, Y, Z, trying your best to, like, keep control. Oh, no, of course I... Just had to hit that rock. Okay, we're going to do a cool, really cool 360 thing. There we go, you know. I've flown enough things in Scrap Mechanic, I think, to kind of get by here. Okay, I'm making that up. Our wings are dipping into the water. Okay, so I'm just going to go back in this direction in the most janky way possible. Uh, and what I want to do is I want to try and land this thing. So we're just going to... I think I'm going to use some strict follow cam for this. This is probably the easiest thing to do. Um, and then that way I can focus on pressing the buttons at the same time here. You can see now, yeah, look at that. This is a lot easier when you have both hands on the keyboard. So we're just going to kind of bring it into the water. And there you go, yeah. Super smooth landing. And yeah, using the strict follow cam is definitely... Uh, something suggested for this build. So that is going to be today's episode of Top of the Shop. Be sure to check out these amazing creations on the Steam Workshop. Now, if you guys did enjoy this video or the builds, then let me know by hitting that like button. And if you want to tune in for some more Endless Scrap Mechanic, then be sure to subscribe to the channel and maybe even turn on some notifications so you get the latest and the craziest coming from me in Scrap Mechanic. So guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. So, bye for now.